is 35,000 Kenyan shilings is enough to survive in Nairobi, Kenya for two people? The answer is yes and another, yes. However, you must choose the way you stay in Nairobi. I must emphasize for you that if you are talking in terms of the gross salary then we have to break down your cash to something else. Let me make you aware that it is mandatory for every employee on a payroll to submit tax, that one doesn't need your opinion. Thence your net pay comes to 29,000, equals. This will automatically send you to a rent of less 10k per month unless you want to overspend on rent and end up in frustration. However, on this you have to work hard on where to stay. Possibly at a walking distance to work. In Nairobi, most of the bedsitters are at around 9,500 equals. If you find a place to pay bus fare every day, then you be assured to spend at least 6k per month on transport. At this rate, we assume you have spent 9k plus 6k on transport and rent. You remain with 14k. If you add lunch of 100 per days, you remain with 11k. Water and electricity depends on your consumption. Assume you play around 2k per month, you remain with 9k. Daily shopping is likely to eat up to 6k per month. You are left with 3k to save which still remains at risk of sinking depending on the dynamics of Nairobi. With the above information. Saving will now revolve around on what to reduce and, and what to maintain. Assuming you don't spend on transport and find a house near your workplace, then you save the bus fare and time spent on the road as well as traffic jam. If you were a Kenyan, you could think of doing side hustles like investing part of your money in doing part-time business ideas. This will allow you to get an extra income. I must caution you that if you are foreigner, this if risk as you are likely to be conned. But still there is hope after spending time, familiarize yourself before settling on doing business in Nairobi.